speak about the first respondent. I've already indicated that the second respondent is only mentioned in paragraph 15 of the motion and paragraph 10 of the affidavit. As related to the CCTV, my learned colleague says that if the first respondent is allowed to enjoy his liberty during investigation, he will interfere with the same. Your Honor, decline that invitation. The CCTVs are already in lawful custody of the police and other relevant authorities. How will the second respondent possibly interfere with what is in the custody of the Kenya police? How? I pose rhetorically. That argument must collapse on its own way. Your Honor is also informed that the other reason why they want them held is because there is a firearm which has not been examined. Once again, that firearm is with the relevant authorities. How will they possibly interfere? How will the first, rather the second respondent possibly interfere? You are then told in paragraph 17 of the motion and your honor will have occasion to look at paragraph 18 to 17 to its full effect but permit me to just highlight the things that are meant to be done one that the first the second respondent will be subjected to a mental assessment that the firearm will be taken to a ballistic expert and that the CCTVs will be reviewed and the deceased who is lying at a morgue has not been subjected to an autopsy. Your Honor, paragraph number 15 that relates to the second respondent. And it says that the firearm which is alleged to have been used to commit an offense belongs to him as a lawful licensee. is described as a licensed firearm holder. That is in the notice of motion. The same is repeated in paragraph number 10 of the affidavit of Sergeant Boyer, in which he says the firearm belongs to the second respondent who is a licensed firearm holder. So when it is then said in submission and in the motion that the firearm disappeared mysteriously, it cannot possibly be true. It cannot possibly be true. Sergeant Boya is an officer of the law and he has sworn an oath. The second respondent is a lawful owner of the firearm, which is in question. Your Honor has been told that the reason why the liberty of the second respondent is purported to be curtailed if the orders requested are granted are as follows. One, that there is a CCTV footage 